Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to do web scraping with JavaScript and Puppeteer. We start with an empty directory here and first we are going to create a new file. Let's call this one index.js and first we need to install a Puppeteer. So let's do yarn add Puppeteer and now when it's done we can go to index.js and use our Puppeteer. So let's do const Puppeteer puppeteer equals and require puppeteer and now our script will be async so we will create a async function here like this that will be executed when, after it's defined and here we will put all our code so first let's start by defining our browser so const browser equals await puppeteer.launch and here we can define if we want to see the browser or not. So if we have our code on production we don't want to see the browser we just want to run it headless and if we want to debug our application we want to disable the headless so we will see the browser. So for now I will do headless to false so I will see the browser. Next we want to open a new tab in our browser so let's do const page await and now browser dot new page okay so now inside page we have an object to our tab now with this tab we can do wait page dot and go to and here we put where we want to go with our tab so I will go with eBay HTTP s eBay dot com all right and let's see how it works so i will do just node index.js enter and it works now we want to search for something so let's type something in this input i will see how we can get inside this input so we have input type text and the id of it is this so i'll copy this and i will just close this and stop the process here and now we want to wait for the page to load so we can see this input. So let's do await page, wait for selector. And we have our ID in clipboard. So let's do ID this. And after it's loaded, we want to type something. So let's do await page and just type. And here is the selector. So it's ID this. And now what do we want to type? We want to search for MacBook M1. Or let's do maybe MacBook Pro M1. Okay, now what? Let's see if it works. It works. Now we want to click this button to search. So let's see how we can access it. So uh, it has value search. So we can go with it. Let's stop here. So await, as always, page, click. And the selector will be an input with value equal search and let's see what do we get okay so we are searching and clicking on the search button and we have our macbooks here so now let's say we want to get all the prices so let's see how we can get here inside so all prices are inside span elements with this class as item price so i'll copy this class name and i will close the browser here and stop the process so to get all the prices, let's first wait for a span with this class name. So let's do await page, wait for selector. And our selector is a span with this class name. After we see at least one of those, let's uh, get the inner text of those. So let's do await page dot ss evil and eval of with double dollar sign is running here let's do like this and this will fetch all span with this class names and then we can do some stuff with those spans in this function here so I'll do it like this and now when we have our spans what do we want to do we want to make an array of this so let's do first array and destruction like this so this will be an array and not 
document array or something weird there. So now this will be array and we can run stuff on, uh, on it. So let's do map. So on every span element, we want to get an inner HTML. So the value of this span. So what's inside? So let's do span inner HTML and we want to return it like this and we want to return it also this. All right, so we should get all the prices here. Let's check it. Let's do console log here and here. And now let's see if we get our prices. Let's run our script. It's searching. Okay. Yeah, we have our prices here. First price is weird with dollars. I guess it's a filter or something. So we can get rid of this. But later we have prices with this. Swedish crowns and we have some dots here. Maybe we can get rid of this. So uh, let's do some cleaning here. I will stop this process here. And here with this spans, let's do slice. And we want to start with the first element. So we will skip the first price that is $20. I think it's a filter or something, but we can skip this one. And then we, for each price we have. Let's see how it looks like. It has this uh, space here and sex. So it's a Swedish crowns. So let's do that split. Let's split it by space and let's just get the first part. So we will get only this part and maybe we can skip the this change also. So let's do split by dot. And let's also get rid of this comma. So we'll have only integers. So let's do dot replace. And let's replace comma with an empty string. And now let's see if it works. Yeah, we are searching and we see the results. Let's see here. Yeah, we have some prettier numbers here. Okay, so what's the next thing we want to do? Maybe let's go on the next page and scrap more prices. So we have pagination here, but we are only interested on the next page here. So let's check this next, this arrow, as you can see, it has this pagination next class. So I will copy this. All right. And the next part is we want to go to another page. So let's do a wait and page click simple as that. And we want to click on the link with this pagination next. And after we are on the second page, what do we want to do? We want to scrape more prices. So instead of copy pasting this, let's put this as a function, maybe somewhere here above. Let's do const get prices. And this will be a function that will take a page as, as a parameter. So it will be a page here. And uh, this will be a function, arrow function. So let's do like this. And this will be async function. So I forgot this part here. All right. So next, let's copy this part to our function. And let's get ri rid of this console log. And let's just return the prices here. And here we just do console log get prices of page. All right, and uh, maybe let's do the same after we are on the second page like this. And now let's see if we get two pages of prices. So let's run our script. Oh, yeah, I forgot about await here. That's why we get this error. Await for the prices and await for the prices also here. And let's run it again. And now I guess we are on the second page. Let's see, yeah. And here we get prices for page one and prices for page two. That's it. So that's all for today. I hope you learned something. And if you did, please click the like button and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one. Have a nice day and see you in the next one.